Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. Well, the time has finally come. I think I'm going to go ahead and try and tackle the vile body tonight. I will tell you right off the bat, this may be a lengthy video. I don't know if I'm going to split it up in two different nights or if I'm going to try to accomplish everything today. Um, but it could turn out to be a pretty lengthy video. I have never done this before, so it's going to be one of those things where I'm taking my time and making sure I get everything done right. Um, what kit, the kit that I have is the Transgo, um, it, and it is the SK TFOD dash diesel. Now, I don't know why they call it the diesel kit because this will, this has some, uh, instructions in here for the gas kit also. I have called Transgo and went through here and crossed off some things that I do not need to do, uh, because I will not be running a, uh, manual valve body. So there's, there's really no sense of doing a few things in here. And I have already went through and swapped out all my seals. You guys have saw me do this before. Uh, from my Firepunk kit, it had the cast iron steels, so, or, or the cast iron seals. So we have taken those two off the pump and the one off the bottom of the input shaft and changed those. Um, as you can see, the one on the input shaft goes right there. These two small seals, uh, they were already in my fire pump kit, so I put those on. And then we swapped out the two cast seals for the nylon seals here on the pump itself. That is already done. I've accomplished that. And on the uh, front one, two piston, I think front accumulator, whatever that is, uh, we've swapped out that spring. This is the spring that's in there from the factory. Uh, the one that comes in it is much smaller in diameter kind of like what's in uh, the accelerator uh, piston. I think so, whatever this is. This right here, it's whatever's in this. We've got that put in, and then uh, we've also put in the, uh, the spring for it. So all that stuff over here in the transmission has been taken apart last night and put back together. That's sitting there ready to go. Uh, got everything t taken care of that way. Um, I did leave the shim the same, so we're still at 35 thousandths of uh, clearance, which is right on the money, so that's where we want to be. Uh, tonight, we're going to go ahead and take care of the valve body. I have went ahead and removed uh, the shift linkage and the lever and got that stuff out of the way. Uh, I did get the Garin transmission uh, bullet detent to take care of this stuff. Uh, this slides right in here uh, like this. And then you have a little tool that holds that in there called a Mowgli peg. And then that allows you to be able to put everything back in place. So um, what happens is this bore wears out and it gets stuck in gear. So uh, while we have everything apart, we're going to go ahead and replace that detent also. So we don't have that issue anymore. Um, it makes that about that long, about the full length of the bore. And then it already has its own spring in the back side of it. Uh, I'll show you that here in just a little bit. So I'm um, going to go through here first and start taking some things apart. Um, I did pick up a paint tray, a paint tray and some mineral spirits uh, to clean things out as we're going along. Um, so tonight we're going to go ahead and do complete disassembly and hopefully try and get things put back together. To take all this stuff apart, it's pretty much just a T25 Torx bit. Uh, we'll pull the whole valve body assembly apart. All right, like I said, to get everything apart, it's pretty much a T25, or everything is a T25. We'll start off with the electronics. This is the plug. And I'm gonna run all my bolts back in there. If you can see that is kind of oblong shaped and that just holds that in there and allows you to move that back and forth. Actually, this is the wrong bolt. Uh, this is not the bolt that's supposed to be in there. This is supposed to be a shoulder bolt. Uh, so right off the bat, uh, you can tell that somebody has been in this before, which is fine, but uh, they didn't put things back the way they were supposed to.
All right, with the overdrive solenoids removed and the governor transducer and sensor removed, uh, this is all going into garbage. I did buy all new. Um, it's just what I wanted to do. And most generally when you rebuild this stuff, you go ahead and replace it. Uh, this is supposedly only has about 5,000 miles on it, but uh, while I had it apart, I didn't want to chance anything, so I went ahead and took care of it now. All right, with all that stuff out of the way, you can take a screwdriver and bend these two tabs down. Then we can go ahead and start taking all of these valve body bolts out. All of these are the same length except for one that goes right here in this spot. Okay, except for three of them, and it's the two, your two filter bolts, and then this one right here on this platform. So we'll set those over to that side. We'll set that over there with that. Now we can separate this lower plate from the mid plate and the upper plate. You can see all the dirt and debris in there that you're going to want to clean out. Like I said, some of the things we're not going to do, um, if you read through the directions, we're going to be having a multi-disc torque converter, so we don't want to drill the holes in the valve body, um, and then we don't need to worry about filing this notch on there, nor do we need to worry about the, uh, the TV valve. Um, because we're going to be normal use, and we're not going to ever be doing any manual shift Val or a, a full manual valve body, so we don't need to take care of that. So we go on to uh, over here on this side to number two on page three, um, and we're going to take care of the new transfer plate um, between the cover and the throttle body. So this needs to come off, and uh, we'll change out a spring. We'll pin a hole. All of this stuff will just get cleaned up and reused the way that it is. This hole right here is going to get plugged or pinned. There's just an itty bitty taper on this pin. And just tap it in there until it's flush. Reinstall all that stuff, and we'll come over here. Take out this little keeper, and swap out 
this spring here and go ahead and clean this stuff up. For a 24 valve, we need the white spring, which that looks like it may have been white at one time. So this valve body may have a shift kit in it already. Then before we assemble anything, we're going to go ahead and put this new separator plate in there. And then finish it off with this cover plate. While you're this far, go ahead and check the uh, boost valve and spring. For any wear. I don't know where it left off. I don't know. Battery went dead. I changed it. I don't know if I uh, recorded anymore, but I, I am to the point now where I am putting everything together. Uh, just kind of show you there. Um, this is this kind of a, a stressful situation. Putting uh, it's it's okay. It's I don't know if it's stressful, but it's tedious, and you want to make sure and get everything just right. So I. I I neglected to turn the camera back on because I wanted to make sure I got everything right because this this is this is the brains of the transmission um, For me to try and do a video on this uh, It would be extremely difficult for me. So um, I just I went ahead and just left it go I've done 90% of it right now. I'm on the assembly stage and changing some other springs and stuff and setting the pressures and stuff like that uh, I'll go ahead and start recording again, but I, I just want to apologize because this wasn't the way I intended this video to go. Um, it's just a little bit more in depth than I had anticipated. And for me to be able to video and talk about it and keep doing, uh, I needed to concentrate on what I was doing because of, like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this and I didn't want to screw anything up. So let's go ahead and get uh, everything put together. All right, with the upper valve body in place, I have all of my check balls in place. This is one of them you're going to change. It's called the cherry bomb in the kit. And when you do it, you want to make sure and line that up with uh, the one hole in your, uh, in your mid plate, um, the separator plate for your mid plate. So we'll go ahead and set this in place, uh, making sure the cherry bomb stays lined up. It should be completely sandwiched off. It shouldn't be lifted at all. So it uh, looks like everything's in place there. We'll go ahead and put our
lower sandwich plate in. Then we can put our, I'm sorry, upper sandwich plate and our lower sandwich plate, or yeah, you got it. We got our, this is our upper plate, this is our mid plate and the sandwich plate. This is our lower sandwich plate and this is our lower plate. So we go ahead and put this in place and start throwing some bolts in there. Like I said, remember these three right here are longer. Make sure you have all the check balls in there. There's one check ball in the mid plate that I forgot because it's laying right here in front of me on my bench. And that goes in right there. All these will get torqued to 35 inch pounds. All right, with that done, we can go ahead and get our electronic tray to go back on. When I was tightening up the solenoid body, I went ahead and put the four bolts in there that fastens it to the transmission itself. That way I make sure I have proper alignment and everything because there's only two bolts that holds this little cap on that holds these two, the transducer and the sensor in there. All right, that now I'm gonna go ahead and change out my pressure spring. Right now it just has this one spring in there and we're gonna change it and put two in there. And put this shim on, put the seat on. Like I said, on this right here, this is supposed to be a shoulder bolt. For some reason, mine's not. It probably was lost, so they just put in there what they had. I'll show you this right here too. Majority of the time, the accumulator spring inside here is gonna be broke, and of course, mine was broke, so uh, that gets replaced with a, uh, a triple spring set. Um, inside this housing, it's three, or three of them, 
stacked inside each other goes inside this housing right here so yeah mine was broke um, like most of them usually are from what I've come to understand we'll make sure this hole has not been drilled out if so you're gonna to wanna to use this sandwich plate in there and that just reduces the whole back down. It looks like mine is still the, right, the size it's supposed to be. So all we need to do is change out this spring holder. And that's it. Don't really look like there's any difference in them. It's just this one right here is a little bit heavier steel than what this is. All right, with the 3 16 Allen wrench, you just go ahead and back this out. All right, I just got my park rod in place um, and about body's ready to go back in the transmission. I still want to apologize for not getting as much footage as I wanted to. Um, this is very, uh, very technical as far as doing this. Um, first time I've ever done it, so I wanted to pay attention and do the best that I could and make sure I have everything done right and crossed all my T's, dotted all my I's, and did everything absolutely the way it was supposed to be. So, um, once again, I'm sorry, but there is a couple of other videos out there as far as doing a valve body rebuild. Um, uh, there's a guy doing a, I believe there's a guy doing a trans TIG. Um, trans TIG, that's a welder, sorry. Um, that's a little secret. Uh, Anyway, there, there's a guy doing a Transgo shift kit on here, and then there's a, another guy tearing one apart and putting it back together, this, this stock. So, um, with that being said, this is ready to go back in the transmission. Maybe tomorrow, hopefully, I can get um, the valve body put in place, get it bolted on, and then we're pretty much getting down to the nitty gritty of uh, putting some stuff on the truck. So, um, this was the last piece of the puzzle that I needed to do before I can completely assemble the transmission. Everything's adjusted. Um, like I said, I've got all the springs. Every, everything's ready to go as far as the main case, the housing, the extension housing. This was the last thing that I needed to do and I have it done. So um, we'll cross our fingers and make sure that I have it done right. Anyway, once again guys, I do apologize, but if you don't mind, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already done so, and we'll talk to you guys later on.